Hey guys, it's Kylie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do something a little bit different still in the realm of beauty, but we are going to dip my nails. I've dipped my own nails once now <laughs> and my mom dipped them for me and they turned out really good and I'm, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with how they were before. So they were taken off and I'm going to re-dip them myself and show you how I do it, but I'm going to do some different things as well. I'm going to kind of make my own glitter dip and stuff. So we'll just show you how to do that. If you have not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything new here. Other than that, let's get into it. Joining me on my desk is this Kiss dip set that we got. I think it was at Dollar General, I want to say. I also have a nail file, a fluffy makeup brush, some cuticle oil, an electric nail file thing that comes with different tips, two medicine cups, popsicle stick, a cuticle pusher backer, and then I have an array of different nail beads in different shapes, different colors, all the fun stuff. I got these, I want to say on Ally Express, like years ago. And then I have two different glitters. So that is what I'm going to be using for my nail. All right, hopefully this is a good enough angle. Okay, so I have already just filed down my nails. I am not the greatest shaper in the world, so don't judge me on that. For the most part, they're fine. So the next thing I wanna do is keep my camera in focus. How are we gonna do that? Just a reminder that, like I said, this is my second time doing this. My mom did it the first time on my nails. And um, so I truly don't really know what I'm doing. I also did show you this um, dip color. This did not come with the Kiss set. This is actually a dip from Ulta. I don't remember what color came with this kit other than the clear one. So this is the tool that I'm using. It's called the manicure, the ultimate manicure system. So I am now, it's kind of a little bit rough. So I'm just going to buff the top of my nails. Next thing I'm gonna do is take this strengthening cuticle serum. This I got in, I believe it was FabFitFun. And I'm just gonna do a drop on each finger, rub it in. And then I'm taking my cuticle pusher backer because I don't know the real name of it. And I'm actually going to go around the nail bed where your cuticle is. Your cuticle is not this. It's actually on your nail bed. It's the skin that grows on your nail bed. That's what your cuticle is. So you basically want to push it back and then scrape it to get any of that skin, that cuticle skin off because that cuticle skin is going to make it harder for the dip or polish to stick. I learned that from Simply Nail Logical. You should check out her channel. She's pretty awesome. Okay, hopefully this angle works a little better. Wow. Hmm, moving on up, aren't we? This is really hard to do when you're doing it with your opposite hand. The next thing I do before I get started is take a paper towel and some alcohol and I rub everything off just to make sure they're all clean, is off it, that could deter anything from sticking, all the sand is off, you know. Okay, so I use the Kiss manicure set. I've got an activator and a gel. My mom dips her nails more often and she said her sets usually come with three different items, but this one only came with the gel and the activator and then the powders. So this is a clear, but it's your base powder. So you're supposed to put one base of this on before you put your color on so then your color gets a little bit more intensity so what i'm going to do is put part of this into two of the medicine cups so i can mix them with the glitter i'll just take my popsicle stick and dump some i don't want to do a whole lot because i'd rather have not enough than too much because then i'll just have leftover and nothing to do with it 
Like, I feel like that's a lot. The only thing with this is I'm not actually going to be able to dip it. I'm going to have to dump it. So I don't know how well that's going to work. So I guess let's add a little more. Okay, and then the two colors that I'm using is, like I said, this is orange. This is neon orange. I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby. And this is Recollections Black. And I got that from Michaels. I have a lot of glitter on hand because I make cups. So anyways, ooh, I dropped glitter. So I guess that one's going to be black. I'll take my glitter. Gosh, it's getting in there too. And sprinkle some in there. Now with this black, I do know that it's not super sparkly. So I might actually add some silver to it as well. I'm going to take this other Recollection Glitter in the shade or color bling and just add a tiny bit to the black just to make sure, ooh, that was not a tiny bit, just to make sure there's more sparkle to it. I do have an actual sparkly silver dip and this is kind of what it looks like. So I'm going to stop there and hope that works. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with the orange. Okay, I'm going to set those aside. I'm keeping my regular dip powder in front of me. I'm going to start with my gel. I think I'm doing this in the right order. Gosh, I don't remember. It wasn't even that long ago that I did my nails last, but I guess long enough to not remember very well. Now, I'm not going all the way up to the top of my cuticle area because if you keep it too high to begin with, then your nails are going to be really raised towards the back and it's not going to have that gradual like hump it's just going to be a giant hump on top of your nail you basically put the gel on and then you take your dip dunk it and then tap it off I just did a double dunk to make sure I got everything. As you can see, I did not go all the way to the top. It doesn't have to be perfect. I would like it to be like a little more, obviously a little more clean and not like more of a clean line, but I mean, that's not, that's not terrible. So then on the next time I will go up all the way to the top on my last coat and then it'll be at a gradual effect. So that one's good. I'm going to continue that with the rest of the nails. Okay, so that is what we have so far. The next thing I do is take my puffy makeup brush and brush off any of the excess. Make sure you're not using a makeup brush that you use on your face. Keep it separate from everything. Now I'm going to use the activator. What you're supposed to do with the activator is give your nail a really good coat. And then before you stick it back in the bottle, you want to wipe it off on the cloth so then you're not getting any of the product, any of the powder, back in your bottle. And it'll make it last a lot longer and better. Now this I'm not being as careful with. You don't have to. So there's my first coat. Like I said, the powder that I just put on is just your base coat. It's more of a clear coat, but it helps with the next coat. I'm going back in with my gel next for the next coat. This time around, oh god it's sticky on here. This time around I am going to go further up on to the nail bed and coat it completely. This nail, oh gosh I sprinkled it. So I put a piece of paper down because there's not a whole lot in here. I might have to dump it onto the nail so I put the piece of paper down so if I get it on here, I can dump it back into the cup. So I'm going to do this nail orange. I'm going to do majority of the nails black, but I'm going to accent it with the orange. Hmm. That wasn't a very good coat, was it? Then I'm going to do this nail orange as well, so I'm just going to continue with that. 
try to do a better job at coating the nail because that one is very uneven. That one turned out very cute so far. This one, I, I missed a few spots with the gel, so we'll have to go back. I am gonna wanna do another coat anyways, so I'll just leave it for now. I've got gel all over my other hand from the cap of that darn thing. Put that in there, and then I'm gonna move on to the black for the rest of the fingers. Hopefully I like the black as much as I like the orange. This is how this one turned out. You can see the clear base through it. So obviously I, I don't think I put enough glitter. Maybe that's what happened with this finger as well. It's actually clear stuff that coated it. So I am gonna add more glitter. Again, I've never done this before. I've never mixed glitter into it. So it's basically just trial error, but I figured it'd work. So I am gonna mix, because I can see the clear through it still, more black and silver. All right, let's try that. I'm gonna try just dumping it rather than dipping it too because clearly doesn't work. That's a little better, I guess. I don't know, let's just keep going. We'll figure it out as we go. Okay, there's the first round of the colored dip. So next step again is to brush off any access. and then go back in again with a nice heavy coat of activator. Okay, so there is the first round. Not too shabby, I guess. So what I have realized so far is maybe it is better to have more of the clear coat because I can feel the glitter. So the color is not as strong with the orange, obviously. Like you can see where my, I don't know what part of the nail is, where it hangs off of, you know, the skin, the, the hangy part of the nail. What do you call it? I don't know. I'll just add a little bit more, I think, of the clear coat to the glitters. Maybe just a little bit, not a lot, because if it's clear, it's fine. It's just clear, you know? And then maybe it'll take care of some of the chunkiness of the glitter that I feel on the nails. This hand is full of like glue, the, the gel, my, my nail, my skin is hard because for some reason it's all over the lid and the bottle. All right, let's try this again. Somebody who does nails and stuff is probably cringing right now at everything I'm doing. Hey, guess what? I'm experimenting and I'm having fun doing it. I'm also trying not to get it on my skin because then it'll look really crappy, so don't do that. I'm not sure if the gel will dry if I put gel on all the nails and then dip them, like if I put gel on all the black nails and then dip them rather than doing one at a time. I don't know if it dries, how fast it dries, so I just do one at a time. Step is to brush off the access powders and back with the activator. Okay, I am pretty happy with that coverage for the most part. I did mess up. I got some on my skin right there, but that's nothing we can't fix later. So these are looking super cute. Again, I can feel like yeah, like the glitter chunks, but we are going to do a top coat next, so that will help. 
take care of that and then we also file them down towards the end I think we do it at the end and not right now okay where's my top coat I think this is the third item that was supposed that normally comes in dip kits but didn't and that was the top coat so we picked this one up separately it's by wet n wild so we will just do a quick top coat on all of these boom 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 I feel like I was supposed to file them down at this point before the top coat I don't know when's the last time I got my nails done professionally I don't know did I pay attention to when my mom did it no should I have watched a video before I did this yes but guess what you learn as you go that's gonna be my new theme song okay cool so here's one hand done here is one hand not I'm going to go do the same thing with the other hand but I think I'm gonna do it opposite where my thumb and ring finger is black and then the rest are orange so it'll you know mix it up a little bit I'll be back okay nails are all painted and everything now are these as good as if I would have got them professionally uh heck no like I said this is my second time ever doing it um, this time is definitely worse. Uh, I think that has a lot to do with glitter because it's just a little more chunky. So I am going to take this tool again, go across um, these fingernails just across the top to make sure that there's nothing spiky and like in the inside to get out any gel that I might have gotten in there. This hand is still drying a little bit so... I did do something different with this hand. I ended up going over the orange and the black coats again with just the clear base because I thought then maybe it would help with the chunkiness of the glitter and actually it really did. This nail is way, way, way smoother than on this side. So I think I might go back and do that on this side. Okay, so here's the nail so far. Not much different than the last time you saw them. Um, First of all, I have learned a lot in this process. I am not very good at dipping my nails. It is a lot harder to dip nails when you are using glitter rather than just a regular dip glitter or dip powder. I need to take my time a lot more because I have like gel all the way up here. I've got it everywhere, all over my skin. So, I mean, it'll wash off, but uh, I did wash my hands, but it'll wash better when like I take a shower. No, I'm not the best at this, like I said. It's my second time, guys. It's my second time. So it's not terrible. I like the colors. I think the glitter did turn out really well. And then after I did put that clear coat of powder on top of the layers of glitter, it did help tremendously. I think it would also help if I used like a colored powder with the glitter rather than just glitter and clear. You know what I mean? It would do a lot more coverage. So next time, maybe I will do that. Now I'm going to find some bedazzles and do something pretty. What I really want to use is either one of these skulls or I mean could be both of them or maybe these little princess tiaras. Those are cute. I mean they're not exactly super Halloween-y but I mean they can be. The princess crowns are way too big. They'd have to be for a thumbnail so I will skip that. Maybe I'll try to make like a just a straight line down with some orange. I've got I'm going to use this orange here and I'm going to just try to make a line down, like a straight line down. Would that be cool? I don't know. We're going to find out. So with this thing, you just turn it to the color beads you want. And then I use either my this thing or a fresh toothpick. Then I grab my gel and I am going to just quick coat this. I don't necessarily have to do the entire thing. The other thing I would change if I did my nails again or when I do my nails again is I need to change the gel oops, applicator because it is so stiff right now. So all I'm doing is I basically lick the toothpick and then stick and then stick in here and attempt to get the top of one of these of the bead and then you just set it on there and I'm attempting to create a straight line. So let's see how that works. I wish you could talk to me. Should I leave it a straight line or should I make it like a cross formation? That's really cute. The problem is when I start putting beads on, I just want to keep putting them on. 
and I don't know when to stop. I like that, I think that's cute. Um, what I was saying before though too is like this applicator itself needs to be changed because it used to be like a nail polish applicator, a regular one, but with more use it has just gotten a really hard and you know stiff so then when I paint my nails it kind of leaves it's not smooth it's it's rough and it leaves spots so that has a lot to do with the bad application as well I mean other than the fact that I'm just bad at doing it all right then now that that's on I am going to go over it with the activator but I will not go over it with a top coat Cool, there you have it, one hand done. I feel like I'm gonna take these off pretty soon because of the bad application, so I don't, I'd rather not waste a bunch of pretty beads. But I am gonna put that skull on this one just because I wanna see how cool it's gonna be. Hey little guy, oh my gosh, I love paint. I'm so excited. I think the activator dulled the shininess of the jewels. So next time I put it on, I'm only going to put it on areas that the beads are not. Same goes with this. I mean, it didn't necessarily, I don't think I put it on the beads, like the jewels itself on the skull, but I'm just going to try to keep the activator on the nail itself and not on the, you know, accessories. <laughs> that was really cool and really fun and I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked this style of video or tried something new, something different, something fun, still beauty related, try to do it yourself kind of thing. I love them. I'm happy with them. I hope you like them too. If you do nails or dip your own nails or anything, please let me know some handy tips. Let me know what I should try next, colors, anything, because I'm definitely going to do it again. So these are just my Halloween nails. They might change again before Halloween, but these are it for now. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.